that. Yes, good, now wait. Is your bum close enough for you? Yay! Stand there. Now you're just going to quietly drop that on the ground. Give him a pet, he still shouldn't move. Yeah. All right. He's like, well, now I'm done. <laughs> That's a long lesson already, and we haven't even started. My arm's tired. <laughs> Your arm's tired? You That's think right. you're going to be able to do it every time now? Yeah. We're going to practice at the end of the lesson before I leave, too. Penny does that. She sides over like that to anything that you want her to. But I'm not allowed to talk about it because my kids think that I'm bragging. She's <laughs> They think that is why. She loves her horse. And some people feel like if you talk about your horse and what's good about them that you're trying to say that there's something not good about their horse. But that's not true at all. Everybody should be happy with what they have and proud of what they have and when people say I love my horse You just stand still at the mounting block. You should say that's amazing my horse blah 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 or my horse doesn't but I'm working on that or Or my horse Let him be. Or my horse does this really well, and then I would be able to say like oh, yeah, my horse sucks at that But yeah, like it's not Bragging is only bragging if you think it's breaking. It's all about changing your mindset. Which clearly Sophie does not have to change your mindset. Okay, so we were going to fan a bear back yesterday, or the other day, and no bit, and he still was shaking his head like a crazy guy, just walking around. It doesn't have to do with the bit. Yeah, okay, I just was double checking with that, because some people really actually believe that it has to do with the bit. Nothing oh. to do with the bit. Yeah, definitely, that's just his thing. That's him you should ride all the time. We gather them up and keep them soft when we jump, but we keep them nice and loose all the time. <laughs> she was devastated of the mane. Brandon, Brandon won't care. It is butchered. I don't know how that happened. I want you to really think about how you're going up and down. And that will help you for when he gets going too fast, you can think about this trot and how to make your body feel. So are you saying that he's so calm today because she's calm? Yeah. So do you hear that, Sophie? Yeah. The reason he's going so nicely is because you're calm. Do you also notice that she took five minutes to gain respect before she got on his back? Yeah, well, there, there's that too I was going to say, like she, making him listen before she got on. That's right. She, she became alpha before she even stepped on his back. You notice he didn't walk away from her? Yeah. No one held him? Yeah. He didn't move till she asked him. Yeah. It's gonna have to be a thing. It's gonna have to be a thing, and it has to be a thing she does, not you, yeah. not Sam, not oh, Gabby. We're okay with not doing it. She, she just needed she just needed help to figure out what Absolutely. to do. Absolutely, and we'll do it again at the end of the lesson so you feel even more confident. Eventually, you should be able to just grab him and walk up, and if he sidesteps, you can grab that whip right from there, lift it up, put it over your saddle, and he'll just see it go over the saddle, and he'll swing his bum right back around. Three inches from the buckle of your reins. <laughs> A hand width. That's it. That's about 10 inches. Look at your sister's reins. She's, yeah. a, she's about six, but that's okay. Six is fine. We need Good. to do a lesson on measurement. It is loose. Gabby's going to circle and go behind you so that Finn doesn't think he's going to chase here a second. Good. It is enough that you can still steer if you need to, but you shouldn't be touching their mouth, right? Breathing. I want to see if you can go into a quiet trot. You can go into a forward trot. Hands forward, Sophia. Good job. Check your rising, ladies. You didn't even have to touch him to slow him down, did you? So you have to think about that. Usually when you ask him to trot, he jumps forward and you grab his mouth. You didn't do that because you didn't have your reins, so you didn't ask him to go as quickly. Makes a big difference how you ask and how you have to react. So if you ask a little quieter and a little slower, you don't have to react as strongly. This is really hard. I know. I don't have any reins. 
You don't need them. Is your horse trotting too fast? Yeah. No. Your horse is trotting beautifully. Yeah. Just push your hands up by your martingale and give him a little scratch on the neck. And slow your bum. There you go. Look at him, he's licking and chewing. When I had Sophie and, and I didn't sleep and she was colicky. Sophie, lead us in a change of direction with a big breath out at X when you change your rise. I would sway, like I'd be driving the car, I'd be swaying, I'd be talking to people, I'd be swaying. <laughs> there you go. Trust him, touch him, scratch him, tell him he's a good boy. This trot is lovely. He's actually tracking up for the first time and I'm pretty sure ever. What does tracking up mean? Where his back feet land, where his front feet take off. He's a little short. But he's never ever been that close. Ideally, you want them to do that. Notice how, you're going to be able to see it in the video, so I'm going to explain it. Notice how as he's trotting, he's actually stretching from his withers to his ears and elongating his neck so his front legs can reach forward. Storm does it very well. Chino does it very well. They naturally reach. Finn gets held back a little too much. So this yeah. is an exercise for Finn to stretch and you to trust. That's what I was gonna ask. Is it because of how they hold them back? That's probably how they like take off their shoes. Yes, because they reach with their hind end so much. Overreaching. They, they, yeah, well he doesn't overreach so much unless he's running really like crazy idiot. Well, which is his normal thing. Chino does overreach. Is the reason there. Chino overreaches because of his body conformation or because of how we ride him? Uh, him. Just the way he moves. See how, it, if you look at the footprints when he comes around, look at the storm. See how his front feet leave and his back feet are just behind? Yeah. His front feet, he's leaving two hoof prints. Yeah. You actually don't want him to leave two hoof prints. You want them to leave one. Oh. The front hoof comes out, the back foot lands in that same impression. That's what you're looking for. This is the trot you want all the time. This one, right here. Okay. Yes. See how close he is? To landing in the same footfall? Yeah. Good. I think he appreciates it too. I think he does too. But he, they need laps of this to get the trust up. Because he's really close to wanting to put his head down, but he's afraid of getting grabbed. Really, really you're not. And so all this mistake that we've done in the past because he's fast and it's our, it's how she reacts. That's just a part of growth and development Correct. and... Correct. And um, because you have asked multiple times about his bit, leaving him in this bit and teaching her to ride with her hands forward, allowing him to stretch, but because Finn has that ignore your uh, commands and just go when he wants to... Yeah you need to have a little bit of leverage so that she doesn't end up allowing him to get to a point where yeah. he misbehaves. Yeah. So you have that in that she can learn to ride like this and soft and stay off of him, but then when he decides to be a little bit sneaky. When she needs breaks, then she'll she have it. She can pick him up and say, no, no, that's not what I asked, and then drop him again. Yeah. And that's where the learning comes in for Sophia. But if you go and put this horse back into a snaffle, per se, He's going to have two rides and he's going to have her again and she will never go back to this. Like, yeah. You know, you'll be going back. Yeah, it took training. us a long time to get to this. That's right. So then you're another month to get back to this. Yeah, and because so, he knows she has breaks right now. You got it. So. All right, ladies, take a breather. Finny, cantering away. The, the, yeah, rubber for now. I want to see how you react. Just holding the rubber. Just holding the... Stretch up tall from your knees up, belly button to chin. He doesn't know what to expect, does he? I am. She's scared, she's holding on to the mane. She's barely moving. I know, but she's gotta get used to it. Like, exactly. she's not sure what to expect. They both don't know what to expect. He's looking for you to grab his mouth, isn't he? Yeah, stop. Push him on then. Give him a scratch on the neck, call him a good boy. Pin in his ears, cause he's not sure. <laughs> Rains are bouncing a little bit because of it, but we'll fix that in a second. I can hear the people. Thank okay, you. So, leg back to your canter. Good girl. 
So do you see how slow you're going without holding him back? Can you shorten your reins a little bit and not hold him back? All we're doing is trying to stop the reins from doing this. You know what I mean? Because they're bouncing. See how they're bouncing? Look at them. Can you just try to stop them from doing that without pulling on his mouth? Yes, there, perfect. And he still wants to stop. That's good. Catch now. Pro, don't lean over his shoulders. Stay over your saddle and your feet. Inside leg, every time your butt wants to come down, push up from your knees. Back to the canter. Just because Storm's walking doesn't mean you get hurt. <laughs> step tall, step tall, step tall. Don't let him throw you off. Push him into his corners. Could use a little contact to move him where you need to and then let him go. Leg. Put him where you want him. Put him where you want him. Open your outside ring. Little leg. Little leg. Now push your hand forward. Inside leg. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Your booty's coming down. Go. Do not stop because he tripped. Is that a girl? Stretch. My heart stopped a little bit, that's okay. Keep yourself over your saddle so you're not over his front feet so he can do his job. Yes. I'm tired. You passed us and walk. No reins. Get that pony a pat. Yeah, so good. Good oh, boy. Look at him. Put his head down and stretch in. Good boy. And you're gonna start off with a walk. Because your horse is thinking. He knows what to do. He knows what's next. Give him a pat. Say thank you for walking. The vet said that Storm's... That was a stunning transition. He grabbed the wrong lead. But absolutely perfect transition. Come right back to your walk for me. Sit. Lean back. Tighten your thighs. Yeah. Now let him walk for a minute. Oh, we did it again. Do a circle. circle. And a half a lead change. Good. Perfect. He fixed it himself. <laughs> Good boy. Exhale and look up. Do not look at those poles. That's okay. <laughs> he jumps them all. <laughs> Come circle and get off your sister's butt. Oh, you're right. You can half halt between the poles, but not over them. I try this a new way I'm gonna show you the tricks that I know I'm getting tired of talking And I need more of a show right now Good job! Oh. Half hole right there Let him go Stop. Where's your hand go when you jump? It's time that you made your mind up Lately all it ever does is change Feels like we're only talking, talking Going round and around, back around I will fight Look up again! One, two, okay Look up! Fix your lead! Breathing! I think Look they like up. this lesson Look at the mountain block on my child One, two, one! Perfect! Brother, every day What do you think? You're changing. Every day you're changing. I was like, wait, there's something behind the pole? He's like, should I add or should I take him on? Oh um, boy. Today to add. Keep walking him. Hands forward, let him figure it out. Good. So we kind of hesitated, right? We know there's only one stride in here. We did it with a pole, ladies. I'll do it on my way. Remember 
where it's all in how we act. Just come down the quarter line on the inside of the jumps for a minute. Inside of the jumps. That's okay, keep your canner. Shorten your reins up slowly. He's not galloping away, right? He's cantering nicely. You can canter or trot, I don't care. If he's gonna canter like that, come in, it's beautiful. I'm gonna show you what I'm going through. Get you out of your comfort zone. Talking, talking, going round and around, back like around. I will fight like no other every day. I won't stop like the others. I will stay. Cause now is the right time. And I'm feeling alright. I'm playing your game like I know I can win right now. Do you feel proud of yourself? I'm a big hug. Are you glad you did it? Yeah. Do you feel like you can do small, small verticals now? He give him a minute. Yeah. Do you feel like you he can do you can do it? He can do it. Do you feel like you can do small verticals now? No. Don't you know that you 